The Prisoner's Dilemma has been studied for over 60 years for its insights into political, military, and economic affairs. It tells us that even when the best case scenario is clear, rational individuals acting in their own self-interest can bring about the worst case scenario. Let's see how it works. Imagine two criminals, we'll call them Xavier and Yoshi, who robbed a bank. They got caught. As a prosecutor, I don't have enough evidence to convict them, so I need a confession. I separate the two, then offer each a deal. I tell Xavier, if you confess and turn Yoshi in, I'll let you go free. But if you don't confess and he turns you in, you'll take the fall and get 10 years in jail. Xavier, being a bright bank robber, wonders what happens if they both turn on each other. In that case, Mr. X, each of you will go to prison for eight years. And if we both stay silent, Xavier asks, I can still get you on a lesser charge, a month each for weapons possession. I walk across the hall and offer Yoshi the exact same deal. I even tell him that I'm repeating the offer I made to Xavier. Here's the catch. Xavier and Yoshi can't coordinate with one another. If they could, they would certainly cooperate and keep their mouths shut, accepting a month in jail against the prospect of a decade. But taken in isolation, the rational bank robber will turn his partner in. Consider it from Yoshi's point of view. He's thinking, either Xavier will cooperate and keep his mouth shut, or he'll defect and he'll turn me in. If he cooperates and I cooperate too, we get the best overall outcome, a month each in jail. Yet that still sends me to jail. If I defect, I get off scot-free. On the other hand, he could defect and confess what we've done. If that happens and I stay silent, I get 10 years in jail. If I defect as well, I get only eight years. So no matter what Xavier does, Yoshi is better defecting and turning his partner in. Xavier, of course, is going through the exact same scenario in his head and coming to the conclusion that no matter what Yoshi does, he should defect and turn him in. Here's the mischievous pickle I put them in. The best case scenario is clear. They should both stay silent. But rational considerations will lead both to turn the other one in, leading to a worst case scenario. The classic real life example is nuclear deterrence. It's better to cooperate and avoid the risk and expense of maintaining giant nuclear stockpiles. But logic has led us to a world with thousands of weapons at the ready. For Scientific American's Instant Egghead, I'm Michael Moyer. Thank you.